Hey, I'm Bad News Baron. Welcome to the Intel Streamers Bootcamp. A good stream overlay is a trickier thing to set up than you might expect. So, this episode, let's look into what makes a good overlay and how to set one up in open broadcast software. To get started, you're going to need a good quality gaming rig, preferably with an Intel Core i7 processor, a Twitch or YouTube account, the content that you want to stream, in this case Overwatch, a good quality camera, OBS, which is open broadcast software, and if you want stream alerts, you're going to want an account with Streamlabs or Muxy. A streaming overlay consists of all the on-screen elements that go on top of your gameplay that gives your viewers information related to the stream, who your latest follower is, who your newest subscriber is, your tippers, Anything that you want presented to the people in your audience goes in your overlay. Now, presenting that in a good way is a lot harder than you might think. You should not design an overlay that takes up half the screen with useless information and graphics. The gameplay should be the main focus. A good overlay will present all the information that you want shown to your viewers, but keep it minimal. Actually, making an overlay is not a tricky process at all. All you need is some photo editing software and you can get started. We've already covered that in a previous episode of the Intel Streamers Bootcamp called How to Make an Overlay. First, open up OBS. Then, add your gameplay capture source by either going to Video Capture Device if you're using a capture card, or to Game Capture if you're recording from your desktop. Then, add your camera source. Go again to Video Devices and select the correct device for your camera. Make sure that you edit and resize as needed to fit your overlay. Next, add your overlay by adding an image source. Make sure that it is aligned and scaled to fit your screen. Now, an overlay doesn't have to be static. There are interactive elements like text files and cheer alerts that you can bring in to make your stream more interactive. In our overlay, we've created an area where the newest subscriber and top tipper can be shown. If we have a program like Muxy Ticker or Deepbot, we can select a text file that will automatically update with the correct name and tip amounts to keep our overlay current. To add a text file from DeepBot, open up your DeepBot installation directory. Then navigate to the OBS folder. Inside will be different text files labeled with a corresponding changing value. Select the one that you want and add it to your stream. You can edit the text to fit your overlay by changing the size, color, and font if you want a pop-up alert on your stream when somebody follows, subscribes, or does another action, you can do so by using Muxy or Streamlabs, going to their website, and grabbing the URL for their stream alert box. Pop-up alerts can be configured with any manner of image, sound, GIF, or however else you might want to customize it. Here's some additional tips in troubleshooting. If you're having some trouble seeing your overlay, make sure that things are ordered correctly in OBS. If you have your gameplay on top of your overlay, then your overlay is gonna be covered up. Another good tip is to make sure that you keep all of your image files for your overlay handy and keep them on a thumb drive. If you go to a convention like PAX and get tapped to stream from somebody's booth, you wanna make sure that you have your stream ready to go so that you're not fumbling when the time comes to do a show. Another tip, make sure that you configure your overlay to fit your individual game that you're playing. If you design a beautiful overlay, but it's covering up necessary information in the game that you're playing, make sure that you move your elements or just design a new one from scratch if you think you're going to be in that game for a while. That's all for this week's episode of Intel Streamers Bootcamp. Thank you so much for watching. If you have ideas on something we can do in the future, make sure that you leave a comment down below. We'll be sure to tackle that in the future. And for more Intel Streamers Bootcamp videos, take a look at the links at the end of this video. I'm Bad News Baron. See you next time.